We're here at the 2022 Detroit Auto Show. We are so excited. We have not been here since 2014 when they used to hold it in January. In January. And that was a cold experience. That was my first introduction to Detroit. And even though it was cold, I absolutely loved it. We came to see the introduction of the all new redesigned Mustang and we ended up buying one. Yeah, we got a 2015 anniversary edition and we hear that there is a redesigned Mustang for yeah. next year, or is that 24? One of the two. And it's the last gas combustion combustion engine version the rest will be electric after that so this is very exciting and the other thing we want to check out is the, the f-150 lightning oh the, yeah and the maki -E and the maki -E too so we're all about electric while we're here so come on let's go have a look the lightning for everybody looking to tow a vehicle that is a great looking truck oh that's sexy yeah look at this that is sexy and it's got a front end very similar to the Mach-E. Yeah. But look at that light bar across the top. Oh wow. Oh my God. Electric has come so far. Excuse me. Oh my God, you found Stella's brother from another mother. Yep, right behind us. One of the things Stella. we didn't, one of the things we didn't get on Stella was that rollout. Uh, you know, I don't need that. I like the one we have. I think it works really well. I'm missing the two-tone. It is big difference when you Yeah, it's the funny how different the truck looks without the two-tone. Two -tone, yeah. She looks basically the same. Yeah. Oh, this is, oh, this is a platinum, so we don't have that. Still sexy. <laughs> Victoria, do you know what's behind us? Um, I think it's a Mach E. Yes, which we are we are in love with the Mach E. Let's go check that out. Oh yeah. So here we go, Mustang Mach E. There is a lot of argument around the purists who say this is not a Mustang, but this is really, really a gorgeous car. So, not 100% sure I'm a fan of this color, but the car itself is really just awesome. Okay, so this is so sexy, and it's electric, and it's a Mustang. It, it was like, they, when, when they were in development, they're like, Victoria would really like to go to an electric car, and she loves her Mustang, so hey, let's make a Mach-E just for Victoria. But not in this color. Uh, I just I just mentioned the color too. So vehicle is locked. The dashboard looks really cool. There you go, fully electric. They're really blowing up the new Mustang. I had read an article in one of the Detroit newspapers that said that this Mustang was going to be the last generation of internal combustion engine. So the times they are a changing. So here is the new 2024 Mustang. It's a convertible, which is, I won't hold that against it. Yeah. It is a GT 5.0. It looks like they've changed the color a little bit because this is very similar to what our um, Dorothy, but yeah. it, it looks, it's not as deep. It doesn't look as deep of a color. Yeah, what so this think? this was the essentially the same color Mustang that we had with our 2015, the ruby red. Yeah. Which is why we named our car Dorothy. Dorothy. It made sense, didn't it? Yeah. Now look at look at all the um, the black here. That, that wasn't in the front. Now I like the lights there. That's really cool. Okay, wait for it. We gotta wait for it to come around. Yeah, so here we've got the reveal. I of don't the, mind those rims either. I'd like them in black though. The new front end. They've definitely dropped the hood scoop lower. A little bit, yeah. And it's the hood scoop very, is up in the front, but the hood definitely drops lower than it did before. It's still a very long hood. It's interesting that we have the two different color plastics. We have the high gloss plastic and, and then the, the, the matte gray yeah. kind of down on the bottom Look here. Look at the headlights. Those are, those are pretty sexy. I really like what they've done with the headlights. The headlights are super cool. Those are sexy, yeah. I'm really liking 
the matte wheels. I, re I really like that. We had the high gloss black. I think the matte wheels in black would look good too, but I would take that. Again, yeah, Brembo are... brakes, which are wonderful to have. Okay, here come. Now the interior is coming around. Let's get a look at that interior. It looks very similar. The um, steering wheel feels a bit beefier, doesn't it? Yeah, the it? steering wheel looks a bit beefier. I'm really yeah. loving those two-tone seats. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And oh, look, they're going full-on electronic. Look, they take the electronic screen all the way across. Oh, that I like. That's I like that really cool. You know, it's times like this, I miss Dorothy. I, I really miss her. She was so much fun to drive. Yeah. But I love Stella. Don't tell Stella I said that. And then finally, coming around full circle, we've got the rear end, which they've definitely changed the rear end. It looks a little more spelt, like they've, they've cut, some, so cut some weight off of it. <laughs> it has. I do like it, though. I... Yeah, maintains that original Mustang feel. Oh, uh, look at the coupe. So if you want to learn more, you can scan this QR code. The QR code. It's a seventh generation Mustang. I gotta say, I'm really digging that color. Yeah, I love that color. It's not blue. It's not gray. Look at look at how metallic it is. Yeah, look at the. Okay, I'm gonna get a really close up look. Look at the shine, and it's almost. It's. Oh. It's the Mustang Dark Horse. Yeah. Whatever that is. Oh. Mustang Dark Horse. That is that is sex, sexy. Yeah, they. You get the. Yeah, so here we have the Mustang Dark Horse. I'm really loving that iridescent paint, and I'm also I'm not a big fan of wings on cars, but I gotta say, this wing looks really really good on this car. I love 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 that. Yeah, and it lends itself really well to this rear end. The way the the way the upper the way trunk lid comes the around. It's, yeah. just, it's really fabulous. But really, that iridescent paint is really, really unique. So to promote the new 2024 Mustang, they did a thousand Mustang ride from the Dearborn Ford World Headquarters here to, I'm gonna call it Cobo Hall, but it's Huntington Place. And then they have a beautiful display of Mustangs. So the 1971 oh Mach God. 1, I, this is probably my favorite Mustang of all time. Yeah, I really liked it. I had a friend who had one. It was a piece of crap, but I didn't realize how amazing it was at the time. It was all beaten up, but it's just, look yeah, how the, long that back end is. The 71 Mach 1, this, this is my year Mustang right here. I've always loved. Okay, our love for Mustangs, go, like I said, goes back decades. So I have had an 83 regular LX. What did you have? I had a, a 78 King Cobra. I had an 85 GT. It was my, no, an 83 GT. It was my first GT. And then I had an 81, just an LX, but it did have a V8 engine in it, though. And then I had a 91 GT. A 95 GT, a 98 GT. What did you I have? I can't compete with any of okay. that. Okay, then we had a 2015 together. Oh, 15. Yeah. Whatever, I think it's nine Mustangs between, between the us, two yeah. of us. So we, we don't like Mustangs at all. So I think, is Namaki going to count as a Mustang? Uh, it, has, it has a Mustang badge on it, so. Okay, so that's going to make 10. That'll make 10. Woo! So Victoria, that's not a Mustang logo. No, but it's a horse and all horses are wonderful when it comes to cars because it's a Bronco. The new Bronco is awesome. Oh my God, it's so awesome. It's, um, I, when, they, when they first came out, they were so big. I never even looked twice at them. Now, they are so sexy. I want an electric car when we land, but oh, the Broncos, it's just hard. It's hard not to love them. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, look what, look what they did. Oh my God. It's it's a it's a new old school. If I could have this one, this is the one I would have. This is awesome. Look at this. Look at these white rims. Oh my god. Oh, and red with this wonderful white stripe. Okay, a peek inside. It's locked. We can't get into it. So hopefully 
I don't know. All I see is my reflection. I even like the, the, the naked the tire, the tire back on the here back, yeah. A, yeah, They so did such cool. an amazing job with the redesign of this vehicle. I mean, it is, it is just awesome. Now this is just a two door. I see over there we've got we've got four doors. I like I think I prefer the two door. Yeah, so the and four here door, that one's that's a sport, isn't this it? is this is the sport for those of you that think the Bronco is too big. That's a, that's I, surprisingly I like this color. I like the white and the baby blue. That's super cute. And then here's here's the four door version over here. I like the two door Bronco, that'd be my choice. And it's kind of hard to shoot video when people just randomly walk in front of you. Uh, you can see how excited everybody is. Yeah, about you the can see just how excited. And this is a Raptor version of it. But, oh, wow. Um, and you can see this paint too. Well, maybe you can't see in video, but this paint also kind of has an iridescent color look to it, which Ford seems to be doing a lot of lately. Here's the Everglades version of the Bronco. It's a good thing if it's an Everglades version, you have the winch up For here so that you can just wrap need... it around you and save you from an alligator because that does happen in the Everglades. Trust me, I know. And yeah, there's actually a line up here to get into the vehicle, but if you want to learn more about the Bronco, you can scan that QR code right there and learn more. New for this year oh, there it goes. Is, a, is a Ford kind of driving experience. And you can see how long the line is. The line goes from there. And then it wraps around. All, all the way around and over to the other side, down near to the far end of your view where that Ford logo is, is where you sign up to do this. So it's, I'm guessing it's an hour, two hour wait, but how cool. It looks like they are doing a, a zero to 60 start for the um, for the Lightning. And then they're also doing an off-road experience for the Bronco. Here's the Bronco driving event. Look at that. That's I'm amazed at what an angle that is. That is pretty impressive. That's really cool. Let's follow this car along. We're gonna have a zero to 60 here. You ready for that? You're gonna hear it and partially Look at, see look at it. the wheels are completely. Whoa, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that like. Whoa. Look at, did you see how that wheel's moving? Oh my goodness. That's about a 45 degree angle. That's crazy. And we're about to see a Bronco come down 41? the other side of it. It's that. 41. I'm being told it's 41 degree 41 angle. degrees. We've that. been we've stood corrected. <laughs> yeah. Here comes another lightning. Those things are so fast. Wow. <laughs> That's why it's called the lightning. That's another one. Okay. I hate to do the brake job on those when they're done with this event. <laughs> and here comes the Bronco. Look at oh, that. Wow. That looked like a carnival ride coming over the top there. Everybody looks calm now. He took, he took that a little fast. He did. They're all like, oh, God, we made it. <laughs> we let that guy drive. Okay, so this is not the Detroit Ford show, which, <laughs> which it kind of looks like. Which Wait. it kind of looks like, but um, there are other vehicles here yeah. at the Detroit International Auto Show, and one of them is Chevrolet, and behind us is a Corvette. So no, 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 that that's the Batmobile. It's not a Corvette. Oh, it's a Batmobile. It's a Batmobile. It looks it, just like it the does Batmobile. look like a Batmobile. So let's have a look at some of the other cars around the auto show besides the Ford. <laughs> and here is the Corvette and if you're a fan of Corvettes at all
It's only $95,780. It is. Which is really not bad for a high performance. Like no, it is car. low to the ground and it is sleek. And it is equally. Look at that. Look at that console. There. Yeah, that's oh very God, interesting. That's really cool. That has cool. everything at a, at a fingertip. What's cool about the Chevy display is they have engines out, which I like that. Engines and transmissions. Wow. That's a sexy piece of machinery right Yeah, there. that is. That's pretty cool. When the Camaro first kind of got reintroduced, one of the things I didn't care for it was how sharp and angled the lines well, were. Do you know what? It's starting to look more like the Mustang. Yeah, it in looks the like they've, end they've in the really front. kind of given it some shape. Yeah. And what's interesting is on the back end here. That looks a lot like the Mustang. Yeah, the hips really that look a lot. There. Yeah, really looks a lot like the Mustang. I'm glad to see that they've redesigned and made it a little more. Curvy. Yeah, it looks it looks a little softer and a little curvier. Yeah. Okay, for all you Chevy RV people out there, here is their 3 3500 HD. I've not been a particular fan of the dual, of the split headlights with the bumper in the middle, but you know, I mean, it doesn't, when you look at it from the front like that, interesting look. Look, there's Grandma. She's in a Buick. No, they have they have redesigned them quite nicely. Yeah, so we've got... But that one's actually really cute, whatever that is, whichever model that is. The Buick section. The Encore. The Encore is kind of cute. Now we've got the Cadillac, and I understand that Cadillac's starting to get into electric vehicles in a very big way. The NV Auto Group deals in high-end cars, and really Ferrari, Ferrari, Porsche, are, are not around this year, except for from the NV Auto Group. Oh, the classic Jeep. Gotta love it. I, don't I, think, I think the Jeep um, uh, pickup truck type thing is a little polarizing. So either you love it or you hate it. Yeah, so the Gladiator... I agree. Is either a love it or hate it kind of thing. I'm in the camp of I don't like it. I think it takes away from from this. From with, the jeepness. From the jeep. With this to me is that's a, a sexy. That's a sexy yeah. jeep right there. Right? I'm not sure if this is normal operating procedure, but the jeep experience is being heavily cleaned. Did something happen, or is this just something they do every once in a while? Maybe oil. I don't know. Gets on the floor. Very, very strange. But there is a Jeep experience here. It looks very similar to the Bronco one. It looks about the same uh, incline there. And if um, more of them are running, we'll get some video of that for you. Now we have the Wagoneers, which we've seen a few of those on the road. Yep. So, I forgot about the Wagoneers. Yeah, they brought the they brought back the Wagoneer, and it is it is it, a big. It is not small. Yeah, what it is, is the price tag. I think this is kind of their version of the Lincoln Navigator and the um they just wrapped it up. They're promoting the Wagoneer big. There's one, two, three, or there's five of them on display. For you Dodge fans out there, the Hellcat. Charger is the four-door, challenger is the two-door. That's how I keep them straight. Yeah. SRT. And if I'm wrong, let me know. No, yeah, that's the Charger. Charger yeah. four-door. That's a pretty color. It's a very pretty yeah, color. Yeah, it's a great pool. color. And the most impressive 
part of this car is the engine. Is the Hellcat Hemi? Look at that thing. That thing is that thing is sandwiched in there. Supercharged Hemi. And then to round out the uh, to round out the truck wars for you Ram people, here are the Rams. Have any dualies here? I don't see I don't any. See one yet. So Ram does have a truck. I like that they have a truck experience. Truck agility. Yeah, it's not just a. Uh, That's pretty cool. Not just a Jeep thing or an SUV thing. I love that. So you can oh, see over there. Stella could do that, man. Uh, I wish we could bring Stella in here to go. Oh yeah, she'd have fun. I don't know we've taken Stella some places and she's done pretty darn well. So here's the. Uh, Another shot of the Ram Agility course. Okay, here goes the truck. Up. That is not the grade that the Rams had, but still pretty impressive. It's not the grade that the Bronco has. Uh, I'm sorry, that the Bronco and the Jeeps have, but it's still very impressive. What's the brake test they're doing here? It's a, I think oh, it's look, a torque they're, test. they're yeah, they're pulling the wall up and down. Okay, that's really cool. That's a torque test. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's impressive. So that wall is equivalent to Howie, basically, from the opposite direction. That is cool. Wow. Dooley going up the hill. No, this is a Genesis. See, I, I don't know anything about Genesis, but that's a Volvo. I saw that. What is a Genesis is the big question. Is this a Volvo electric car here? And then we have a BMW over here. Are these, these are all electric vehicles, aren't they? Oh, I bet that's what it is, yeah. Is that... The new B oh yeah, the IX. Is this their new one? Yeah, because we have. Yeah, so now we're in the. That's like a. That's like a. Um, an X5. That's how big this this one is. That's. Oh, a big that is vehicle. pretty big. That is yeah. that is this X5. So we talked a little bit earlier about how electric vehicles were very prominent at the show, and yeah, here's. Here's a lightning up close and personal. So these are all electric cars. In 2012, I got a Volkswagen CC. Now, what was strange about that is it had taken me, I don't know however how old I was at that time, all those years to understand that VW was basically my initials. And why shouldn't I drive around with a car with my initials? With your initials on it. And I fell in love with the CC. The lines on it were so beautiful. It looked. It looked like an Audi or a Mercedes, but it was... And it drove like one, too. Yeah, it was and it such was, a great car. And it was priced so well. So I got... That was BR before, before Rich, but I was still driving it when we met. And then they stopped making it. But now we find at the auto show the Arteon, which to me is, is a CC. Yeah, let's Take have a look. look at it. Still has the sexy, sleek lines. It's, it's kind of low to the ground. Yeah, I think the only difference is, is, is this is now a hatchback. Which is not a bad thing, but the no. lines, you know, it kind of looks the same, line-wise. So it's the and RGM. This is not an M. This is, this is very cool. It's kind of a raised domed emblem. Yeah. I think that's what all the cars have on them now. Um, yeah, I really still like. Still for a sedan, still a great sedan. It's one. Yeah, if you want to buy a sedan, I think this is the, one of the sexiest sedans you can buy. Yeah. What the heck is that? The duck is following me. It is following, following us. us. It's following us. All the way from Marquette. Here it is in Detroit. When, now, we, when we go south, is it, are we going to see him down there too? Yeah, where else are we going to see this duck? Because we saw him in Marquette, and now here he is in Detroit. He's so cute, though. If and he wanted to follow us down south, I'd be okay with that. I have that, a question. Really. What? Do you think that's the same size duck? The one in Marquette felt so much bigger. That's how big 
the duck is. It's an optical illusion. I think it's the same size. Because remember, I was standing there, and if I go stand near it, it would yeah, be. Yeah. Do you know why size. I think it's a? Uh, do you know why I think it's an optical illusion? Because, because of the buildings. Because of the buildings around us. Yeah, but he, I'm happy to see the duck again. Yeah, the duck is back. We'll be, we'll be in Kentucky and Tennessee and Georgia soon if you want to follow us, totally okay. Oh, but Marquette did not have ducky t-shirts. Oh, oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is a cheap thing. Since I lived here, it's been the early 2000s, but I love to see what's going on in downtown Detroit. When you get a chance to come to downtown Detroit, make sure you jump on the People Mover. And take a little, it's an inexpensive way to take a tour of the city. So we're here at a Detroit classic Pegasus. Greek, Greek or Mediterranean? Or Greek Mediterranean. Greek Mediterranean. Yeah, we've been here before. It's um, usually Greek and Mediterranean are um, places I can eat very easily because um, I can do some goat and sheep cheese and a lot of the feta. As long as the feta is goat or sheep, then it's there. And I'm excited. I love their Greek salad. I love Greek salad. Yeah, all the food here is really amazing. And I've been coming here since I was a kid. So, and it, the quality has not gone away. Opa. Opa. Opa! This is the best part of it. <laughs> there you go, there's your flaming. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Look at that thing. Look at that flaming cheese. Enjoy your flaming cheese. Anything you can get on fire at your table is... It's good. So talking about the auto show, I was a little disappointed in the auto show. The amount of manufacturers that were not there, Honda wasn't there. And Mazda wasn't there. Mazda, Mazda wasn't there. VW's presence was, wasn't even, it, it wasn't, wasn't even minor. a represented presence. It no, was a there was a few Volvos, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a company booth. It was a, um, <laughs> one of the auto groups here. Yeah, and um, Porsche wasn't there. And so, but Ford did it upright. Yeah, so I mean, we are really excited about Ford stuff. Yeah, and we're so excited about all the cars they have coming out between the Bronco and the Mach E and the Lightning and, and, the, Mustang. and the Mustang and everything they have going on. We're Ford people. Yeah, and I will say though, Jeep and Dodge did it upright with they their did. with their driving experiences. Those are pretty cool. Now yeah. we're not the kind of people that are going to wait in line for well over an hour to do that, but it's cool to see it. It was it was, it was cool to watch. I mean, it would have been fun to do, but it, I think it was for me it was even it was more cool to watch just to see that suspension on that Bronco. Yeah, that was the way it did. It that was, was really cool. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, take a moment to give us a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already that would be really really great well believe it or not we finally made it out of Michigan I Michigan will miss <laughs> you we will be back next year but um, yeah we spent the majority of the summer in Michigan we loved it it was the weather was great yeah, was the activities awesome. were wonderful we got to spend time with friends and family and now we are headed south for the winter I'm so excited that we're saying that and um, our first stop is Cincinnati for a couple of days, and then we go to Kentucky, in, um, right in the heart of the Bourbon Trail. Bourbon Trail. Woo! Chattanooga. Then we're doing the Van Lee Rally in Georgia. Then we're going to South Carolina, back to Georgia, and then to Florida for the holidays. We're so excited. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a comment. You know, what did you guys do for your last weekend of the summer? What are you doing for the winter? Are and you going south to Florida? Are you going south to Palm Springs, Arizona? What are you doing? And what bourbon should we go hit when we're in Bardstown, Kentucky? Oh yeah, definitely give us a bourbon uh, recommendation. So, and until next time, Happy exploring. Happy exploring.